District Volleyball Tournament. That won't get started until later this month. The East Penn Conference Tourney gets underway next weekend, but some postseason tune-ups took place across the Valley yesterday, including over at Bethlehem Catholic, where the Golden Hawks hosted Easton. Becca in the midst of a four-game winning streak, having swept each of its last four matches. Rovers also red hot of late, on the heels of three straight sweeps of their own. Gwen Begley has more from last night's match in Bethlehem. The Golden Hawks turned pink last night for their annual Dig Pink match fundraising for the fight against breast cancer. Bethlehem Catholic would also be fighting for a win in front of their home crowd. Jody Hewitt would send over an ace to lead 10 to 4 in the first set. And while she worked the serve, Kyla Rodriguez worked the middle to lead 16 to 6. Easton would reach double digits off an ace from Samantha Nagy, but this one was all Golden Hawks who win the first 25 to 10. Easton came back with a vengeance in the second set as Olivia Keckler gets this one to fall from the backcourt. Nagy would get another ace to fall for a 6-3 advantage that before Rodriguez emphatically answers with a kill, one of her nine in the match. Teammate Jody Hewitt would give the Hawks just their second lead of the set. The senior would have a match high 17 kills. Now this set would go down to the wire as Keckler goes cross court from the outside to tie things up at 20. The Rovers would lead 23 to 22, but Bethlehem Catholic would claim the final three points, winning off an ace from Vanessa Amrick to win 25 to 23. Bethlehem Catholic would jump out to a strong lead in the third and wouldn't look back or really let the Red Rovers muster up any type of comeback. The Golden Hawks win the third 25 to 15 and the match three sets to none. The last time Bethlehem Catholic played Easton, they dropped a set to the Red Rovers because they struggled with their serve receive. Not only did they clean that up for the second time around, they also improved on their serve, knocking down 16 aces against the Red Rovers tonight. We kind of realized that we really do have strong servers and when we apply that and we focus in we could be really successful in every match. We were just super in our head on server receive and we just couldn't get our feet there. They have super aggressive serves so we just knew that we had to hold our platform stick and then we got it. I think we're feeling pretty confident. I think we're definitely more stable. We're in the right mindset. We're more focused because that was one of our biggest goals uh, earlier on when we weren't, weren't so focused. So now we know how to execute every game. At Bethlehem Catholic High School, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network. Thanks a lot, Gwen. So the Golden Hawks run their winning streak to five straight, 35 kills as a team last night. Beck is now 10-3 and three overall with just three regular season matches left. The Hawks get Nazareth and Deeriff next week. Before that, though, they round out this week's action Thursday at Liberty, a match you'll be able to catch live here on SEN. Becca is currently atop the District 3A standings, locked in a four-way tie for third in the crowded East Penn Conference. Here are your up-to-the-minute EPC girls volleyball standings. Top eight teams will qualify for the league tournament. You see nine teams on your screen right now, so something's going to have to give over the course of the next 10 days. Liberty and Parkland, they're in great shape. Hurricanes have three games left. Their biggest test we mentioned against Becca coming up on Thursday. Trojans, meanwhile, have four left. Their biggest test will be their regular season finale against rival Emmaus. Then that log jam in the middle. Four teams tied at 10-3 and three in Pocono Mountain East, Emmaus. Becca and Northampton. Emmaus still has to travel to rival Parkland for its regular season finale. Northampton, meanwhile, visits the Trojans coming up on Wednesday. And then it's really a conversation of which two of three will qualify in the bottom half of the field. Nazareth and Central Catholic appear to be in good shape at 9-4, and four, but watch out for Pleasant Valley. The Bears may only be 7-6, and six, but they are the North Division leader. And I'm being told that a meeting is going to take place to decide, do the division winners all get automatic seeds into the tournament, or will it be overall league record that decides the eight teams that will get in? An interesting conversation that could come into play. Again, Pleasant Valley right now on the outside looking in, but the Bears are your North Division leader. All seven of their wins have come in division. While the Bears are 7-6 and six overall, they're 7-0 and oh in the division. The EPC Girls Volleyball Tournament set to get underway next Saturday, October the 15th. Still